All right, so right off the bat, I'm just gonna say it. There's a new report showing that AI is not going to replace software developers. You heard it here first, folks. AI promises everywhere you're hearing all this hype that it's gonna wipe out entire engineering teams, but the data from a research that just did was done by Stanford by 100,000 developers shows that it's boosting productivity about 20% on average, okay? Now, sometimes it makes things even worse. So how much are we really gaining when AI spits out code faster only to bury us in bugs and rework? As someone who's built software for a long time, I have to ask, are we trading real skills for quick fixes that could cost us down the line? And if giants like Google are only seeing a 10% lift on this, why would we believe the hype from vendors who are pushing us their tools? So we're going to dive into this today and look at what Stanford's massive study shows us and what's actually really happening under the covers. Let's dive into this today. All right, so the rush to let AI handle coding is absolutely everywhere and nobody can hear from it. Even people who don't even know anything about software development are coming up to me being like, so you're out of a job? I'm like, no, actually business is busier than ever. And Stanford did a deep dive and did a research of 100,000 developers across 600 companies, and it paints a very clear picture. You gain at most about 20%. So sure, it's with some pitfalls like extra, debug, uh, extra debugging and loss of understanding. So it's time to question if we're really building better teams or just masking things, some deeper issues. So we're going to dive into some of this today. I'm going to pull up some of this research here for you. All right. So there's a recent YouTube video that was released by a researcher, um, Jaeger Denisich Blanche. See if I said that right. Apologies to him if I uh, totally butchered his name here. But he's a research uh, researcher at Stanford, and it says, "Does AI actually boost developer productivity?" And it's a thousand, hundred thousand dev study. Now they haven't actually published the full study, but they did an early report on this to give us some of the early findings, right? And you can see right here in the study, our study at Stanford cuts through the noise, analyzing real-world productivity data from nearly a hundred thousand developers across hundreds of companies. We reveal the hard numbers, while the average productivity boost is a significant twenty percent. The reality is complex. Some teams even see productivity decreases with AI adoption. Now he goes through and breaks this down, but I'm going to give you some of the highlights of this so that you don't have to watch the whole thing here. Now this is his research group. And so lest you just think he's a dude on YouTube, which by the way, you know, you're listening to some dude on YouTube, right? But this is how you participate in their engineering research. And you could have signed up to, to produce this. And this is the group that was doing it. And this was the languages they were working with. So that, you know, some of the thing to look at, and this is how they did this, the research study, but they did a research study across 600 companies, 100,000 developers. So this is where I got the data from that I'm going to go through with you guys as part of this today. So, you know, they found that again, on average, that developers were improving by about 20%. So um, the studies from tools, uh, so um, sorry, I lost my place in my notes. Okay, back to it now. But see, one of the interesting things about this is a Google CEO, Sundar Pichai, reported that only 10% increase on their massive scale. If there's anybody out there who knows engineering and who also also knows metrics. Google is the king of metrics and the king of engineering. There's very few companies, if any, who have more engineers than Google. So if even Google with the world's biggest dev crew and some of the most advanced AI, like we're going to put the AI wars aside here for a second, some of the most advanced AI, and even they're only getting 10%, this gives you real hard numbers between 10 to 20% of improvement. Now that's not nothing, right? If I could take a company and say automatically we're going to improve it 10 to 20%, that's a real number. But you've got to know that it comes with some other things, right? Pumping out more code with AI might feel productive, but it often creates junk that devs spend hours fixing. So the study shows that teams deliver 30 to 40% more initially, but then they lose half of those gains debugging the AI induced messes. So refactoring stays steady, but it's rework, right? That's recent changes to fresh code. So spikes, meaning wasted effort on avoidable errors. So it's like revving an engine without checking the brakes. You go fast, but you risk crashing into bugs, right? So what I've seen in custom builds, real efficiency ties to clean, maintainable systems, not pile of auto generated lines of code. So I have people in my comments all the time come in and be like, man, I generated 5 billion lines of code yesterday. And therefore I've made this totally autonomous system. And I'm thinking, man, anything that you generated a 5 billion lines of code in one day, I don't want anything to do with. But so a real developer knows that you need strong problem solving to spot traps. And that's kind of the problems here, right? Is you can generate a ton of code, but it takes a lot of work to then spot what could be going wrong. Now for a simple job, AI is really going to shine. And this is what the study found 
with up to up to 40% faster delivery in fresh projects. But when you come to high complexity work, it actually drops to 10% or less and often even harming the project. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.